possession and ownership of this property based on the person who owns it. So we have an agreement with the person who owns it to take this property. Do you guys have any agreement with the person who owns it to take this property? So are you going to let me talk or are you going to keep talking? There's about nothing it? to talk about. You guys are trespassing so right now. We're in closing. Use. We own the property. And this happened just yesterday. And I had to create an understanding with that sheriff who agreed with me by the end of it. But I wasn't here yesterday. So I'm, I'm not interested. You're here today on. and you're trespassing here now. I am not in our experience. You are. I'm not, no. Is this your property? It's not, but I'm here to serve a lawful purpose. We're What's the lawful purpose? Matter. Okay. Who gave a lawful order and what order are you fulfilling right now? By the owner that you guys are not supposed to be here. And right. what is their name? What is their name? What is the owner's name? Why do you if please, there's somebody you claiming question, that my like, property is owned by someone else, please tell me their name. What is Who your claimed name? it? I don't need to identify myself, sir. You came onto my property. Is there a reason so, why you're so the actual right now, homeowner sir? said that you don't have permission to be here? Okay, and what is their name, please? If they've made a report, For please tell name. me their name. What about we, my name? We are here to investigate suspicious activity. You're, you're making me feel unsafe, sir. Okay. So if you could please not walk up behind me and flank me. If you could just like stay out in the public area. <laughs> this is over. What, what we got? They've been advised, yes? Yeah, the homeowner said that they want to remove. But they won't tell me the name of the homeowner since I'm under contract. It's interesting, there's another homeowner contract. who I'm under contract with, you but they won't tell me the name. name. I absolutely do, but I don't need to prove my innocence to you. I'm not doing anything. I'm on my property. What is your name? I don't need to identify myself. Actually, I'm not. I'm not doing anything wrong. Right now, I'm here on my, trespass. sir. I'm here on my. I'm on my. Okay, so it's my you, property. Could you issue the advisement? Yeah, we'll get could you give us the written advisement, and then once we get the written advisement, we'll leave, yep. and then we'll contact the property owner. Yes. Because we're under contract right now, and we are agreed with okay. them. So, what's your name, sir? I don't have to give you anything. You do actually. So oh, here's, here's a cool deal. You'll, cool, you'll be cool with me, I'll be cool with you. It's not about being cool, it's you, about upholding listen, rights listen. in the law, sir. Okay, the law we're not is, at the bar. Here's the, here's the law. The yeah. law is, right now we're being, we were told that you are not allowed to be on this property. Well, Please we just made second, an agreement sir, sir, that I am. Let me finish real quick, okay. okay? We have been told by the people who own this property, hold on a second, that you guys are not allowed to be here. With that being said, if you guys aren't allowed to be here, that's criminal trespass. We will issue a criminal trespass notice. If you are under contract, what that tells me is you do not currently have the right to be on the property. The contract is in negotiation. If you're negotiating about buying the property, once the contract is completed, then you now possess the property and you can come and go as you please. Sir, I've been on this property investing money into it to make sure utilities, so I'm allowed to be on the, the owners are allowing me to be on the property then to pay for stuff, okay. to have it fixed, so but I'm not allowed on it so now. If you guys give us your names. We, will we don't come. need to. Give me a second now, let me finish. If you give us your names, we will contact the owner and say, look, these are the people that are on this property. Are you under contract with them? Are you willing to let these people write? Because right now, all we have is two people, a male and a female, on our property that we have, obviously you guys aren't giving us your names, so we can't help you. Okay, well, you so can communicate. So the best we can do is tell you to leave. Until you give us your names, then we can contact the homeowner. Fair enough. We'll are you, contact, are you, you willing to contact them and let yeah, them? Yeah, we'll contact them right now. Are you willing to make them aware that the second party in the contract to own this property is here doing inspection on the utilities as is agreed upon well again i will make that contact if you guys give me your names we'll contact them right now well no you could just let them know that and if they say that they don't trust that and they think somebody's lying well then they can issue the trespass well, order you could give us the notice and we'll be on our way and then maybe we decide that we don't want the property at that point since they want to trespass so we'll the do. prospective you, you owners off the land it's kind, of, it's kind of odd that the owners of the property who want to sell it would tell us we can't be here when we're under, as you say, contract. Well, no, you guys said contract. I don't know what you guys are going through. Yeah, we're under if contract. Under it means we made a yes, lawful... Yes, I've already one put... One second, Jennifer. We made a lawful agreement okay. between two consenting parties. And, and, and there's nothing wrong with that, but where the problem is when it, when it comes to agreement at that point in time, without any physical paperwork that we can see... It doesn't mean crap I understand that, but you're here to fulfill the lawful order. That means the other side has to give it. If not, then you're claiming to be the interested party in this property. Do you have any interest or equity in this property? That's not what we're saying, sir. Okay. Well, so I'm interested in the maxims in of law, not everyone's interpretation. So you're, you're, whoever you're, you're, has interest and equity in, in this property has 
the right to possess it or to upkeep it in his hand. We'll need your information. We'll put on the notice, and you guys can go ahead and leave at that point in time. You've been notified by the criminal trespass. Okay. Yeah, again, okay. you don't need any uh, information. Or right. notice. So here's the deal. Okay. Excuse right me? now we're investigating a criminal trespass. 17 you guys don't cooperate. Give us your hands. We, we have the right at that point in time to take you into custody and arrest you. All we're looking for is your name, date of birth, so we can put on the criminal trespass notice. We'll give you the notice we'll because you're Mexico 28. Okay, well, why don't you do what you already agreed to on camera and go and contact the perspective. Okay, but I've got to have your name. Adam. Okay, well, my, you can you can let him know your given name, okay. right? And then he can tell them what your given name is. And if they say they want to trespass, the woman's given name is on that paperwork, What's then we can go from there. Jennifer, what's your last name? Should I give him my name? You can give him your given name. Okay. Why not? Right. He, he's claiming that Jennifer the other. Jennifer Berkowitz. Berkowitz. Can you spell Berkowitz for me, please? B E R. B E R. K O W. K O W. I T Z. And now you understand that. And you your date of birth, man. I don't see why. I don't see why I need my date of birth. That's not even on any of the paperwork. They know my name. They know my name. What's your name? Just if the criminal trespass knows, we'll go from there. Yep, sure. Okay. They, they know my name, Six so please call five. them and tell them Jennifer Berkowitz is yeah. on the property. Uh, I will take care of that. Just, I, can, I know how to do my job. Just give me a minute. Thank okay. you, sir. Can you contact the uh, property owner of this residence or this location and see if Jennifer Berkowitz is allowed to be on the property? Six, advised her, unable. You want to run it off the unit? Jennifer Berkowitz, Auckland Unit. So you guys looking to buy in this place then, obviously? If you're no, we're already, in, we're already we're in contract. We're already settled on it, right? Yeah. So unless they renegotiate or they back out at this point, it's already fine. Okay. So we're in the middle of evacuation notice, obviously, because of the fire. That's we're not going to use, this, this we're not gonna use I, fear I'm, and safety in order to take rights and freedom. I, I'm not saying you guys have to. I am aware of the I'm aware of the event. I just wasn't sure if you guys were aware of the I'm evacuation. I'm totally aware, sir. Thank okay, you for cool. keeping everyone really safe. Yeah, I Appreciate feel very it. safe right now. I feel so safe. Like, I feel really safe having you here. I can't remember the last time us. I felt this safe. On, on my property. I feel very safe. And please understand also, if we contact that buyer and they didn't contact you first and you just made this all up, on camera, then you and I are going to have some issues at court. Oh, heck yeah. Go yeah, to court, definitely. I know you guys love it. Yeah, this is what you're into, it. ego and pride games, right? No, sir, no, sir. Yeah, we'll get you on record. I, we've got other things what to do that can bother you I would hope so, sir. I want to believe we're all Americans and that we all have the same common bonds and loyalties to the same ideas of what this place is supposed to be about. I would hope that's the case, right? But I haven't had that much of experience with folks in uniform who have that countenance right it seems that we've gotten a little bit lost in what our duties and obligations are principles you values say we, who are you talking about? i'm saying in the majority of folks myself at one time in my life right in my past and the majority of folks who i meet in present day in uniform or out are lacking in accountability and responsibility and understanding of what right from wrong is and the difference between legal and lawful so that's what i do day to day it's become my career as such that's good. So, you know i guess we're both upholding the law right freedom and principles in our own way in or out of uniform so we have a common bond. I want to believe that. Okay. <clears throat> so it seems he's just winning the name, not calling the owner. Again, yeah, like I just told him, man, I just gave him lawful notice. If he's here under false pretenses and making this up, that the homeowner, quote unquote, which is you apparently under contract, doesn't want you here. Okay. I just so, heard him telling you my name. Uh, no, I can't interpret okay. that. So what the home we contact the homeowner with your name. He said that he does not know who you are, and you do not have permission to be on the property. Oh, that's fascinating. So, okay. That is that fascinating. Because so, okay. I'm going to contact my uh, realtor Could right now. Could you call them right now? Please? Yeah, I'm going to yeah. actually call them. Legal. You have no reason to believe we just came up on this property and we're hanging around. We just brought a hose here. We're fixing the property up and we're investing and we're doing inspection. At this point it's absurd time, and ridiculous. Homeowners do not want you on the property. And I You're claiming like that. We have no reason them. to believe I, that. I, I you think you I act a, as if I, I trust right what you say pray. implicitly. I, I have, have no please. reason to know what you're so doing and not doing. I, your options are. You, now, no, here you go. Your here, options are do this You want me to believe you. Wait, can I say something? They want me to They want me to believe. You want me to believe you that you just talked to the owner. Yet you're not going to believe me that I'm the property owner and I'm under contract. Why should I believe you, but you are not believing me? Please do it in front of me so I can have trust in you. I'm supposed to feel 
feel safe and I don't trust you. Please just do it in front of me and then I can bring it up with my realtor and the owners because I'm not going to want the property since I've already put money into it. We go to closing in a few weeks. So if you could please do it in front of me so I can have some trust in the people who are supposed to protect and serve me, which is what it says all over the sheriffs, you're supposed to protect and serve me. I don't feel safe. I, if you're going to be doing this, please let me trust you and do it in front of me. You want me to believe you? Yeah, there's no reason we all can't be open and honest and right. transparent here. Unless you guys I will be transparent if you are. Hide, I mean, if you know. you, you're not, I'm asking you to please let me speak to the owner. Since he and I are under contract, I know the name. Can you, Jennifer, you listen to this real quick. Okay. I don't. Can you please tell okay. me the name of the man so you just spoke to? Uh, please tell me the name of the man you just spoke to. If you're being honorable, I know yeah, the owner's I name. I the property owner in, in five seconds and turn around with uh, Jan's back. My dogs. Can somebody please make sure my dogs are safe? Yes, ma'am, we will make okay. sure your dogs are safe, ma'am. You have any